Hello, today I will show you how to add waiting list using the gravity form. So my goal is uh, when we can set a limitation for the uh, gravity form for registration and uh, when the limit is reached, we'll sh show another form on the same page so the user can enter their name to the waiting list. Now I will show you how to do that. First, let's, uh, let's create a simple page first. So I will add a new post. So this one will be test waiting list okay and here we won't do anything now we need to add a form first so we we'll add a new form this form is the registration okay so for registration we need to connect a uh, name, phone, phone number, address, email, blah, blah. OK. So we save it. And uh, in the form setting, we set the entry limitation. For test this event, I only enter one. Okay? Then we add the new form, another form. This form will be the waiting list. Okay? So waiting list form, we will connect uh, 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 different because uh, we want uh, for example we only collect name and the phone number okay so the first form we can uh, collect the uh, uh, where's my first form first form we uh, let me update first. So this is my registration form. The ID is three. First form collect name, phone number, address. Okay. So because we already created the waiting waiting list form, the ID is four. So what we need to do is to go to the first form registration form and go to settings then under the limitation you have option to enter the entry limit reach message so we'll see sorry all the parts Bars are full. Do you want put your name on the waiting list? Okay. Then we will add the second form here which is the waiting list form, form ID 4. Oh, let's go back to the registration form again. So we add the short code here. ID equal to 4. Okay. Because uh, the waiting list ID is 4. 
So we add a gravity form ID equal to 4. Let's, uh, let's copy it. Update form setting. And because we have the test waiting list post here, we'll add a short code here. Short code. Paste. Now we not paste uh, ID 4, we paste the ID 3, because 3 is our registration. So what we want to see is uh, when the when the user go to this page, they will see the, let's view the post. So when the, registry, uh, when the user go to the registration page, they will see the uh, ask for name, address, phone number, blah, blah. And uh, if the first user submit this uh, registration, the registration limitation is only one. So the next person, when they go to the registration page, they will see the, uh, the message from form 4, which is wait, waiting list. OK, so let's test it. <coughs> so I will test it, submit my, my registration, because this one is not, uh, you don't need to uh, fill this for uh, the whole columns. OK, now the first registration finished. Let's go back to see the waiting list again. Now, because the f only we said only one people can register, then the other person, when they go to this page, they'll s only see the waiting list page. OK, so when you back to the when you back to the form, you can see registration waiting list ID 4, ID 3. OK, so you can see the waiting list entry here and the registration entry here. You can save this tool as a template. So in the future, if other registration form you need waiting list you can use the template for that okay so hope you enjoy this video bye bye